hello everyone how are you today how has been your day so far great i think glory be to god now nikki said again with my thoughts nikki's thoughts yesterday i started a, 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 a topic on dream killers i want to continue on that topic this afternoon or today and my case study today will be joseph joseph had a dream like me and you he had a dream as a child and then he related the dreams to his brother we know what happened in the end he was he was hated by his brother for his dream because he was hated they sold him out he was sold out i don't know the dream that you've had i don't know what is in your mind or what you're thinking of doing this year 2019 or maybe you heard my voice and you decide to dream or you're thinking well, what's the point of dreaming i dreamed before and it didn't it didn't come to um it didn't manifest well dream again dream again my brother dream again my dear let's dream again i had had so many dreams that i didn't rea i didn't realize but i've had some dreams as well that I put my mind into it and it come to reality, you know. And looking back this morning, I was thinking, those times when I had dreams that it didn't come to fulfillment, what happened? One of the factors, we talked last week about lack of confidence. One of the factors there is discouragement. Discouragement can't weaken one's spirit to continue with the dream. But if you check the life of Joseph, Joseph was discouraged. He was sold by his own family. Sold totally. Sold by his elder brothers. People that he's looking forward to. They sold him out. You know? And he went from one place to another. He went, he went from Potiphar's house, was lied about, and was sent to prison. But he did not. He did not stop believing in his dream. He kept on with God. I didn't mean he, 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 he had stopped believing in God. He would have fall for the for the temptation, you know, with Potiphar's wife. But he said, "How could I do this? I sinned against God." You know, I'm just using this to encourage us. It doesn't matter if you have failed before or you fall before. Get up and keep going. I have fall, I have failed, but that doesn't mean I have to stay there. But we just have to realize and identify the factors that can affect, that can discourage us, which can stop us from realizing our dream. And one of the one of the factors about the, about discouragement can be your family. Your family can discourage you. I have somatical here. I think I can read it out. How the family can actually discourage? You know, it might cause you as a surprise. But that is truth. Sometimes the worst dream killers can be found among those closer to you, just like the brothers of Je Joseph. They were the ones that sold him out. You know, how do we do with this problem? Identify the members of your family and other relatives who cause you distress. Identify them. Then commit your dream and say as a lot to the word of these people. You know, do not, do not allow anyone. To stop your dream to not allow anyone to stop your dream you know your friends can stop your dream your friends can become dangerous dream killers too you have to be very very careful about who you share your dream with and i know i know that joseph dreams many dreams after that two dreams but he decided to keep the dream he learned his lesson and try to keep the dream within himself you know without not telling anybody then your superiors can be another factors of discouragement. Who are the people that you are sharing your thoughts and dreams with? I remember sometimes last year or two years ago, I had a dream. I had something that God told me. And you know what? I shared it and I was discouraged. And then I did not go further with the dream. But anyway, I, the dream is given back to you. Again, glory be to God. And you know, your superiors can actually be your dream killers, your superiors. They can, they can discourage you, you know. 
I don't believe that anybody is a failure. I believe that every one of us, we have something. My catchphrase is, you could do it. I can do it. We can get discouraged. Past failures can be another factor that can discourage us, but it doesn't matter. The book of Isaiah 43, verse 18 says there, that forget the former things, okay? And then look up again to God. Dream again. Launch out again, just like Peter did. You know, Peter has what it takes to say, no, I'm not. I'm not going to put, I've toyed all night. I couldn't catch any fish. How would you ask me to do it? Looking unto God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit can actually help us to fulfill that. You know, again, one of the things that can discourage us is the exhaustion. If you, have, if you're, if you feel fatigue, and no wonder you're unable to visualize yourself achieving any goal. Maybe you've done, you are tired, you, you, you don't feel like you want to give up. Please don't give up on your dream. Take a moment to reflect on your well-being. Relax, meditate, move your body. Allow yourself some time to, to, for deeper connection with yourself and the Holy Spirit. You need to, you need it, you need it. Another factor that can discourage us could be fear. You know, fear can actually make one can can kill can kill dream. You know, but like I said last last week, do it fearfully. Do it fearfully. Even if it's not going to work, do it fearfully. Believe in yourself. Those people that say no to you, they'll be the ones to come and celebrate you at the end of the day. But you can still be there for 10 years and then you still be fearing all these factors. You still be thinking about all this. I can't do it because of this, because of that, because of that. Keep your dream. Keep it alive. Look at the life of Joseph. He was discouraged. But he stayed focused. Believe and have strong faith in God. And he became a prime minister. You can realize your dream. I can realize my dream. If... I keep it alive and keep going and believing until you hear my thoughts again. This is Nikki's thoughts. Drop in here. Drop your comments. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. Help me to reach 1000, please. And then press the notification button so that you can be alert anytime I come online. Until you hear my voice again, I say, have a wonderful day. I love you so dearly and God love you the most. Bye for now.